With that extreme heat that Pete was just mentioning, the concern is not just when you're outside or in the sun and, of course, during the day. NBC 10's Darren Batella explains. We're going to see more and more people as the week goes on. And the temperature goes up at times this week, feeling above 100 degrees. We spoke with an emergency room doctor about the basic things to keep in mind, like staying hydrated and in the shade, preferably you're inside an air-conditioned building. But the real danger within the next several days could be when you head to bed with no relief. Heat in the daytime is a problem, but it's even worse when it doesn't cool down at night and then your home doesn't cool down and people are exposed over time. Speaking of time, by 9.30 on Tuesday morning, the temperature also already hit 80 degrees outside NBC Boston studios in Needham. By about 1.30 in the afternoon, 93 degrees. We're going to see more and more people in the emergency department over the next couple days. I think Thursday and Thursday afternoon is going to be the worst. With temperatures forecasted in the mid to upper 90s, the perfect storm for deadly heat stroke. Nausea, headaches, muscle cramps. Then on Friday, temperature is still expected in the 80s. The really big things we advise people to do is check in on friends, families, neighbors. Darren Batello NBC 10 Boston.